In this video we're going to take a look at normalization. So normalization is the process of moving that floating point, that binary point, to provide the maximum level of precision. Okay. So this is achieved by making sure that the first digit after the binary point actually does something. A zero isn't actually doing anything, it's just saying that it's not this number, is it? So in a normalized floating point number, a positive number will have a signed bit of zero, meaning it's positive, and the next digit is always one. A negative number will be a one, and the next digit will be zero. So if you look here, we've got 0 0.0011010 and an exponent of four. Now these two zeros here, are pointless. So what we can do is we can just get rid of them, okay? But now our mantissa won't have the right number of bits, so we have to pad them by adding them to the end. So all we're really doing is moving those two zeros to the end here, which gives you the number 0 0.1101000. Now that mantissa is now fine, but the exponent is 4. Well, if we do that 4, it means it's going to be um, over here somewhere, and that number is not going to be correct. So we have to take those two numbers, so we've taken, we've moved two, so we take two from the exponent, making it two. So now our number is 0 0.1101000 with an exponent of two. Now, I want you to pause the video and normalize 0 0.0000111 with an exponent of seven and see what you get. And now for the answers. So we've got, we're going to, have to move this decimal point so it's here. Okay, so one, two, three, four places, so it's not point 0.1 like it should be, but because we've moved it four places to the right, we're going to have to pad by adding another four zeros to the right of these um, three ones, and then subtract four from the exponent, so seven take away four is three, so we've got 0 0.111, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then we've got our exponent of three. First question we've got, we've got two numbers, and it's asking us whether P or Q is normalized or not. So all we do is we look at the first two numbers on the left. So we've got one zero and we've got one one. Okay. So for a number to be normalized, it should start with either zero one if it's positive or one zero if it's negative. Therefore, Q is not, it's not normalized and P is. Okay. And that's because P is normalized because it starts with one zero. So for the second part of the question, just check something first. So we've got so it's seven and five, just so we don't have to scroll up because we need to zoom in a little bit. So there we go. I'm just going to make the pen a slightly bit smaller so we can read it. So we've got this number. So the first seven bits is a mantissa. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, and then that means that 0, 0, 1, oh, 1, that's the exponent, and that's the mantissa. Okay, so what we need to do is figure out how can we get this number to be um, essentially two more to the right. Okay, because we don't want these two numbers, but the number needs to remain the same. Okay. So if we're moving the um, decimal point, then we need to change the exponent, okay? So to do that, what we can do is we can just move these two here. So this number, the mantissa, becomes 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. But because it needs to be seven numbers, we need to keep those two zeros. So that becomes a mantissa. But because we've moved those numbers from one side to the other, what we have to do is take two off this number. So this is this number is five. So five take away two is three. So the exponent needs to be zero zero one one. Now to check that, what we can do is write a number out. So zero one one zero one zero zero. We've got our that's one point there. Move it one two three so the number here is zero one one zero point one zero zero if you look at the first number we're moving it five places so it's one two three four five so not point one not point one so you can see that these two numbers are exactly the same however 
bottom one is normalized, the top one is not. Therefore, this number here is the correct answer, and the exponent is 3. What we've got to do is essentially use 4 bits for each, so 4 bits for the mantissa, 4 for the exponent, to write 1.75. So all I do is literally, what is 1.75 going to be? Well, it's going to be 0.5 plus 1.25, so two ones there, decimal point, and then 1, 2, so it's going to be 0, 1. So 1.75. So that's your number. So we can write that out. So we've got 0, 1, 1, 1 for the mantissa. There's four bits. The exponent, we're moving from here to there. So the exponent's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? So your final answer, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Done. Now, all we've got to do now is do exactly the same thing, but two is complement. So the exponent's going to be the same. So 0, 0, 0, 1. Because it's still moving the same amount. And we've got 0, 1, 1, 1. So all we have to do is flip it. So it's 1, 0, 0, 0, and add 1. So the answer is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 